God bless you. Here is Daniela bringing you a word on kingdom spouses, something that the Lord has revealed to me and I feel led to share it with someone. Right before I give you this word, always remember to take this into prayer, to receive further confirmation that this is what God is trying to speak to you about this season of your life, okay? So the Lord is speaking to someone today and he wants you to know that there has been two wrong choices in your life. You probably have been dwelling on this and asking God whether or not these people from your past, whether it's a woman or a man, um, are the person that God has for you. And let this be the video that confirms to you no. Now, I want to share with you how I got this word, and it was through a vision. So in this vision, people of God, I saw that there was a woman, and she was being approached by two men, right? The first gentleman um, approached her and gave her a gift and was trying to, you know, be romantic with her to take her on a date. The other gentleman didn't give her a gift, and he um, was also interested in her. So she didn't know who to pick, right? So she asked someone for advice and this woman asked another woman and the woman said, go ahead and go on a date with the person that bought you something, right? So then what happened? Then after that, hallelujah, this woman went on a date with this person. And when they were on a date, I saw how they started acting really immature and their legs were like all open and they just looked really childish so this person the woman said oh my gosh let me go talk to the other guy right she was like maybe the other guy is better and when she goes speak to the other guy the other guy is like oh yeah no don't worry like we could still go on a date but i have a lot of girlfriends so it's no big deal you could also be one of them <laughs> and that's the vision that i had so you know in this vision i feel like these two gentlemen can symbolize what you've been struggling with and the reason why you think that this person might be the right person. The first thing is like that materialism that we preach a lot nowadays. Um, and to pick a partner based on what he gives you. Although there's nothing wrong with being spoiled. There's nothing wrong with a man or even a woman wanting to care for you. Um, but if you're picking a partner that's toxic and you're, uh, the reason for why you're staying with them is because of what they provide to you or the money that they have, or the materialistic stuff that they have, and not for a genuine connection, that you have to reconsider, especially if you're trying to seek God for confirmation. God is not going to confirm to you something because of somebody's wallet, right? God's not going to say, yeah, that they're the right person. They have all of these red flags, but they're the right person because they have money, right? That's the first thing. Another thing that I saw that I feel like these people symbolize is, you know, uh, going on a date or being interested in someone because of their appearance, right? Um, if you are led simply by what you see, you know, beauty can be mischieving or I, I forget the phrase, but I'm sure someone's going to correct me on the comments. So look at that comment. But don't be led by the appearance whenever you're picking someone for your future and for your forever. Okay, another thing it could be, you know, lust. Also, if you're Picking someone because of lust, um, it can surprise you when you actually start trying to get to know this person, how much they don't really care about God. Um, I guess that whole appearance thing that don't pick someone based on what they appear, but take it back to God. And last but not least, that immaturity that I saw, right, which is that person that looked perfect on the outside, but turned out to be really immature. So if you're dealing with these people, right, if you're dealing with any of these characteristics in the person that you're trying to ask God for or confirm whether or not they're your spouse, I would say, I'm sure you've already received a no from God, right? Because God speaks to us and he's going to direct you in a way that he's going to give you what belongs to you, right? But let this be the video that further confirms that to you so you can have peace, right? The main purpose of me releasing this is not to make you feel bad because love also can be a little bit of a factor in this that could affect your decision making. Um, but especially if you're, you know, you've been single for some time, it could be easy for you to open up your heart because you've been lonely for some time. So you might think that you're in love with someone, but in reality, you know, you're just trying to have something that maybe it's not the right time. And the another reason why I'm sharing this is, of course, to, for you not to get hurt, right? God is always, God is so good. And God is going to reveal to you what's going on behind the scenes. God is going to reveal to you what's really happening um, with people that you might be interested in. So God doesn't want you to get hurt. So let this be the video that confirms to you that those two choices 
are not what the Lord has for you. Or maybe if you're listening to this and you identify with one of the choices, amen, then that's not what God has for you. Okay, what should you do after you listen to this word? You shouldn't be discouraged, right? You shouldn't say, oh, like, I really wanted it to be that person. And, you know, it happens, right? You could maybe really grew fond of someone. So you might have really wanted it to be someone. But you should really be excited because when God starts showing you what's not for you, it's because he's getting ready to show you what is for you. Okay, we're the ones that usually make it a lot harder for God to give us what's for us because we really want what's not for us. But let this be the video that brings you rest for you to know if this isn't for me, that means that what is for me is right around the corner. Okay, it's right around the corner. Pray to receive further confirmation if this is for you. Again, I believe that as I'm sharing the characteristics of these people that I saw in this vision, you're going to know, okay, yeah, that, that's for me. And if you believe that this word was for you, don't forget to comment down below. I just like to look over the comments and like the, the comments and just respond if there's anything I should say. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Take care.